Over the past few months, we've explored a wave of full stack developer tools from Lovable, which lets you deploy front end agents to build each and every UX component with premium designs. To bolt that new, which can spin up full apps in just minutes using AI agents. But here's the catch. While these tools offer free tiers, most of the good stuff is locked behind paywalls, making them hard to fully access without pulling out your wallet. That's why today I'm excited to show you something different called Diet, a local open source and completely free AI app builder with no paywalls, no lock-ins, just pure powerful development at your fingertips. Diet is a perfect alternative to Lovable, V0, Bolt.new, and even Replit, allowing you to build fully functional featured apps locally in just minutes with high quality output. Now, just take a look at it live in action. You can see that it is really similar like many of these full stack development tools. But in this case, you also have a lot of new features associated with Diet that you wouldn't see with the typical full stack dev tools like Lovable or like Bolt.new. This is where you get a lot of cool new modes as well as different agents that you can deploy all completely for free. It's available under the Apache 2.0 license and you can simply go ahead and download the application with a one-click installer for Mac OS and Windows. And this is something that will let you bring in your own API key. Now I'll be showcasing other options like bringing in API keys from a free provider through Open Router, as well as just simply using Gemini 2.5 Pro because they do have a free tier. This is something that is 100% private. It is super fast and it's a smooth workflow similar to Lovable, Replit, as well as Bolt.new. And what's nice is that there's a super base integration as well as having it integrated with GitHub. So you have a lot of different options to work with different sorts of providers as well as integrations. Before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Kittle. If you're a designer, illustrator, or content creator, Kittle is the easiest way to create stunning graphics, logos, and merch without needing complex software. And now with Kittle's brand new advanced text editing, you can style each individual letter all in a single text box. No more duplicating layers or manually aligning letters just to create cool typography effects. You can change the font, size, color, letter spacing, line height, even ligatures and weight per character. It's like having full creative freedom with zero friction. And say if you also need help getting started, check out Kittle Flows, an AI powered design prompt that gives you dozens of pro concepts in a single click from blank screen to final product. Kittle has your back. So are you ready to level up your designs? Well, you can try Kittle today and get 25% off your first month of a pro plan with the code in the description below. So with that thought, design smarter, style better, and create faster. Now, if you're bringing in your own API key, you have a lot of options. You have the ability to use free models like the GLM 4.5, which is something that you can access through Open Router completely for free with a free API, or you can access the Moonshot AI Kimi K2 model completely for free. Both of these two models are quite impressive with its agentic coding capabilities, and it's quite comparable to the Claude for Sonnet. Now, another option is using the Gemini 2.5 Pro, which gives you access to the free tier. And I know it's rate limited as well as these other three models or two models, but you're still going to be able to get access to these great capabilities, a part of these models with Diet. And say if you do have the compute, you can locally host models with Olama and connect it with Diet, which is something that I'll showcase later on. So let's get started. After you have installed Diet, this is the main dashboard of the platform. This is where you first need to follow through with the steps, installing Node.js, which is a prerequisite for Diet to be functional. Once that is done, you can then set up the AI model of your choice. You can use the Google Gemini API key. Uh, completely for free, like I mentioned, or, or just setting it up with other providers. If you click on this, it'll take you to the system uh, settings, and then you have the ability to change things like the system theme, uh, having it auto-updated uh, using different releases. Uh, but aside from that, for the model, you can simply go ahead and select the model provider of your choice. You can even add a custom provider if you want to use Olama, and this is where you can use the API base URL that is locally hosted via Olama. But what I'm going to be doing is using Anthropic because I find it to be the best model currently for code generation. So I'm going to simply go ahead and provide an Anthropic API key for the Cloud4 Sonnet. 
After setting the provider and the key, this is where you can simply go ahead and build anything with natural language prompts. So in this case, if I want to build a 3D portfolio viewer, you can go ahead and send in this prompt. You can even import prompts or apps, sorry, from previous generations. You have the build mode menu where you can simply use this agent to autonomously generate your code, or you can use the ask mode, which is to simply get Q&A back from the AI agent. There's two different modes. You have the auto mode, or you can have it so that there's human in the loop so that you can improve each step as it generates it. And then there's, I believe, a diet pro setting, which we don't really need to tweak. And to test it out, we're going ahead and building a landing page. Now, something that you can do is you can actually take a look at the code it generates live in action. So right away, it first deployed the planning agents to work on this, but you can see each component is built individually so you can see the cta testimonials features and then afterwards you can approve all the changes and then take a look at the live visualization of what it actually built and this is a really basic landing page that it was able to build quite quickly and if there's a certain component that you want to edit you can actually use this select component feature so over here if i want to edit this it will highlight it and add it to the chat panel so that i can tweak it so in this case change the wording to something else and then it'll rapidly go ahead and focus on changing that component and that is a really cool feature because i believe lovable has this select component feature which can individually change things and now we can see that it individually changed that uh heading title to create your digital future so this is something that gives you a lot of flexibility like many of the other full stack developer tools and if you have any sort of problem with your generation, you can manage it over here and run checks. You can actually visualize all the code that it has generated. So this is just the base structure for the code I generated for the landing page. So this way you can even install it and then take it over to something like Klein to configure the backend. You can also configure it with the environment variables over here. You can even publish it to GitHub or Vercel with a one-click deploy. Now, this is just a subtle feature, but you have a couple of templates. There's only three at the moment, but I believe they're going to be adding more plus MCP in the future. But in this case, this is something that is trying to replicate what Firebase Studio is doing. In this case, you have a lot of different templates that you can work with, like the React.js template or Next.js, as well as Angular. Now, what we can do is go back into the apps, uh, the main app dashboard, and let's actually work on building something a bit better. In this case, we can ask it to build a personal finance dashboard, and then we can send this in to showcase different outputs of what Diet is capable of doing. And there we go. Just like that, we have this personal finance dashboard that it was able to rapidly build with Diet. And you can see that there is an expense breakdown graph, a pie chart, uh, the recent transactions, and then the budget progress. So this is a way for you to easily work on prototyping various sorts of scaffolding for your apps and you can easily get started based off of the natural language prompts that you send in with Diet. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on this new open source local and free app builder. And I know it's not something that you would use to build full on applications with, but it's a great way to help you prototype and build certain components with. So I definitely recommend that you try this out with the link in the description below. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Also, a side note, I wouldn't recommend paying for this. Just make sure you just stick with the free version because you're going to be able to get a lot out of it. But with that thought, guys, make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter as well as our Discord. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already, as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.